assalamu alaikum dear students i am ismat yahya david lecturer in biology at government degree college for women kachaku so in chapter number 10 echinoderms today you will learn about regeneration and development process first of all picture of echinoderms is shown different types of echinoderms now what is regeneration as you already know the ability or power to regenerate or to regain the parts of body that are injured or lost sea stars have excellent powers of regeneration they can regenerate any part of a broken arm image of sea stars in some species the body is broken like its arm the broken arm with a portion of the central disc then regenerates it forms a complete animal of uh, like sea star but regeneration is a slow process it takes a year for complete regeneration process you can see images of sea stars second process is reproduction there are two methods like asexual and sexual so you will learn them one by one first one is asexual reproduction the central disc divides during asexual reproduction each half regenerates to form a complete organism that is sea star second one is sexual reproduction sea stars are dioecious it means that each individual is either male or female but sexes male and female are indistinguishable that is they can't be distinguished easily externally gonads are reproductive organs so two gonads are present in each arm these gonads are reproductive structures and large fill an arm during the reproductive periods gonopores these are small openings and they open between the base of each arm now you can see sea star anatomy internal structure central disc is shown stomach is shown arms are present radial canal ring canal medriporite and gonads you can clearly see now third process is development external fertilization that is it occurs outside the body it takes place in sea stars but gamete sex cells can't survive long in the ocean or seas so maturation of gametes sex cells and spawning it is coordinated that is both these processes are in coordination spawning what does it mean it means that sex cells are released into the water the photo period that is light and temperature coordinates sexual activity in sea stars additionally one individual releases gametes sex cells with spawning chemicals or pheromones this pheromone or chemical induced or influences the other sea stars to spawn or to release eggs so it increases the chance of fertilization diagrams of three types of larva bipinaria brachiolaria and third is juvenile sea star their embryos are planktonic free floating embryo uses cilia for swimming that is what structure is present which help them in movement cilia following larva are formed during development in sea stars first one is bipinaria larva after gastrulation you know in immature stages uh, gastrula is formed so after gastrulation bands of cilia are formed finally bipinaria larva is formed it has two sides that is bilateral symmetry bi means two lateral means sides and symmetry means arrangement second larva name is brachiolaria larva Bipinaria larva feeds on free floating planktonic protists it develops larval arms and change into second type larva brachiolaria larva third is juvenile sea star juvenile means young brachiolaria larva settles on the substrate or surface it changes or metamorphoses into a young juvenile sea star now you can clearly see the images of three types of larva first one is bipinaria larva then it changes into brachiolaria larva and it then changes into third type 
juvenile young sea stars fertilization occurs and gametes spawned 